Oh, hey, hi, I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science! Science you can do right at home! Everything is pulled down by gravity equally. And going over today's science file, and today's science file, it says... If gravity pulls everything down equally, why don't things fall at the same rate? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a tennis ball and a piece of paper. Okay, get that piece of paper, and of course, a tennis ball. <laughs> and check this out. Three, two, one. I thought I said that everything is pulled down by gravity equally. Everything is pulled down by gravity equally. See, I said that. And I also said that I keep my balls in my pants. I always keep my balls in my pants. <laughs> so why don't they hit the ground at exactly the same time? Oh, wait, that's because they do. <laughs> Here, just give me a second. Okay, get that piece of paper and crumble it up. Now, get that tennis ball again. Oh, you hit the camera. your tennis ball and your piece of crumpled up paper at exactly the same time. Ready? Three, two, one. Well, that is so wicked cool. They both hit, both of them hit the ground at exactly the same time. The same time. And then, <laughs> that's so wicked cool. Okay, so why did the piece of paper flutter its way to the ground? But when it was crumpled up, it hit the ground at exactly the same time. Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. To understand why this happens, you first have to understand terminal velocity. The further an object falls, the more that object's speed increases. As objects fall here on Earth, they have to push molecules of air out of their way. When the force of molecules pushing up against gravity equals the object's weight, the object reaches its maximum speed. We call this terminal velocity. The tennis ball and the crumpled up piece of paper don't reach their terminal velocity speeds before they hit the ground, which is why the tennis ball and the crumpled up piece of paper hit the ground at the same time. So if the sheet of paper is the same weight as the crumpled up paper, why doesn't it fall at the same rate as the crumpled up paper? As the paper falls, it gets a lower pressure on top than it does underneath. The higher pressure is greater than the lower pressure and pushes with more force, slowing the paper's descent. Gravity does pull everything down equally. A famous experiment was done on the moon where a feather and a hammer were dropped at the same height and both hit the ground at the same time. So now you know that everything is pulled down by gravity equally. You know? Dropping a tennis ball on a piece of paper and they land at the same time is why science is so cool.